Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Um, so here we have a guy going to town on a bugle or something on a horse. Um, he seems to really be enjoying himself. Let's hop right in. Today we are playing North vs. South. For those of you just joining us, this series follows my endeavor to play through a book called 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die, and this is one of the games recommended. Uh, it is a cartoony Civil War reenactment game. And what's funny is it's actually based on a Belgian comic. So I don't even know how that works, but... Okay, so I can be a corporal or a slightly more sophisticated guy or like some kind of badass general. Or he can be a nerdy dude. Uh, that guy, I don't know, he looks like a hillbilly almost. Or like a Dutch prince. Okay, uh, we'll leave those as that. We can turn on Native Americans, turn on stormy weather, and turn on boats. Sounds awesome. And I don't know what this does. 1864. I mean, 1861 sounds pretty good, right? No, you know what? 1862, man. Okay, can we do anything here? Oh. 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 That doesn't look appropriate. Um, poor guy. I, is he taking a photo or is he kind of like getting poked? I mean, wh why would they like clearly show his butt? I mean, he has pants on, but it just like that doesn't look right, right? I don't know. Uh, they make odd choices in these old Nintendo games sometimes. Like, what does this do? Okay, let's click him on his back here, be more appropriate. What's happening to him right now? It looks like he's having a seizure. This poor guy. He's like, everyone get 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 over here for, for, for a photo. <laughs> All right, enough being stupid. April 1861, the southern states have opened hostilities by taking Fort Sumner. Is that a typo or is it actually Fort, Fort Sumner? The armies are being formed. The chances of victory are the same for both sides. Everything is possible. Well, that's nice, very positive message for war. So it's raining for these guys. Okay, so I've never played this game before. But for what I understand, you want to... Oh, maybe that was stupid. You're moving your little army guys around and you're trying to capture stuff. Okay. Now, now what? Uh... This is a two player only game. All right, after a little bit of a hiccup there, we are back with North versus South once again. And this guy is just going to town here. I'm gonna see if we can slow him down just a little bit. Oop, not too much. Uh, does not look appropriate what he's doing to that little bugle there. Speed it up just a bit. There we go. On these new modern fandangled computers, you gotta adjust your old DOS games so that they play at an appropriate speed. Um, but that's okay. So, welcome back to uh, North and South. We just tried to play this on the NES, encountered a little problem where it was a two-player only game. Um, so now here we are playing it on DOS, but that's fine, you know, because DOS, I think, is where uh, it's at. Ooh, we can be like a general dude, a clueless guy, or a slightly more clueful guy. I see, okay. One thing that's good about playing this on the PC is you can actually select uh, computer opponents. And so we're actually gonna be able to play against a computer. How about that? You cannot, oh, whoa, you, you totally can click this guy's butt still. Um, interestingly, on the NES version, anywhere you clicked him, he would he would sort of jump. This one, you can only click that that weird, weirdly detailed buttocks of his to do it. Okay, let's hop right in because we've seen enough of these menus. Let's actually get to the gameplay. Here it is, boys. April 1861. The southern states have opened hostilities by taking Fort some some tur. Okay, now in the NES game, that was Sumner. Now it's Sumter. I'm really confused here. Is there a Fort Sumner or Sumter, or is this supposed to be Summer? And if it is, how is that not the most unlikely pairing of typos ever? Sumter. The armies are being... Okay, I guess I'm done reading that. That's fine. 
So here we are in the overhead map screen. We can select our little dudes and move them forward. Um, I have already played this game. Uh, I tried on the NES a bit. Then I tried it on the PC a bit to kind of learn all its moves. And guess what? If you were watching one of my other videos, oh, here comes a train. This is uh, money reinforcing the damn Confederates. Uh, but if you were watching, uh, what video is it? Speedball 2. I think I talked about how I spent an hour or so recording this after spending probably another hour learning this game. And the recording just screwed up. I lost all my work. I thought I might not come back to this game for, for a couple of years and let myself kind of get over the loss. But then I decided, you know what the hell with it. Um, let's just do it. Uh, so I decided to play it again. So... In this game, the cannonballs, as you can see here, are way overpowered. Like, oh, almost, almost. Oh no, he's gonna get me. Okay, now I'm in a lot of trouble. Now I actually have to try to attack him with, uh... oh no, stay away, stay away. My horse is in the water. Oh, oh God. He wiped out, I wiped. Duh. Okay, so the thing about this game is I think the cannons are a little overpowered. Because as you saw, there, I almost wiped out his whole army, and then his cannons came back. And once they took out my cannons, it was a lost cause. I'm, I was totally done. So what do, we, what do we got going on here? Stop that. Okay. So we're going to move our little guy. So I think we've lost the war. Although in this game, you know, because cannons can literally turn the tide, it's not over until it's over. So this was a classic strategy game about civil war based on the Belgian comic, actually. Oops, sorry, I'm getting distracted here as I have to man my cannons. Uh-oh, now I'm in a lot of trouble, see? Okay, horse on horse, let's do this. And I lost. And what do I have, soldiers? The one thing that sucks about this game is when your units die. You have to keep switching back and forth to other units. Like, okay, one soldier. <laughs> Commando style, do it. Ah, he failed. And we just lost the war like that. So one thing that sucks is when the unit you're controlling dies, it doesn't automatically switch you to another unit, which would make sense, right? I mean, why would I want to keep using the dead unit that is gone now? Well, well, Captain, what have you done? Defeated by the Confederates in four months. There must be some traitors within your ranks. I wonder who. Yeah. Uh, probably an inept commander. That would be the most likely traitor. Okay, let's try that one again. <sighs> the controls... There keeps being interference from the mouse and the keyboard. Okay, here we go. Uh, the chances of victory are the same for both sides. Everything is possible. But you know what's more possible is my complete and utter defeat. Because my strategy is not very effective in this game. I still don't understand the metagame of like how to effectively get reinforcements reliably. So I kind of just go in and hope my cannons can clean house. Okay, like this time. Are you kidding me? The cannons were the first thing to go. I'm so screwed. Let's kill these guys. We missed. Can we kill these guys? Kill a few of them. And let's kill these cannons if we can. No, 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 die, 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 die. And, and I just, I lost the war. Is it over? I wonder whoever has that cabin must be like, just getting a front row seat to this battle here. Okay, come on. Yes, oh, I got the cannons. Oh my God, is this battle still going on? This is like actually, Okay, this is one-on-one, -on -one, buddy. <laughs> okay, well, I won the battle. I literally have, like, one soldier left in that little army. So what I'm going to do is actually combine him with the other armed forces here. Anyway, this is a cartoony reenactment of the Civil War. And it is based on a Belgian comic. Funny that. Not many of our, our games that you play are probably based on, you know... Belgian comics and then why is there a Belgian comic about the Civil War? It's kind of a very odd thing. I don't fully understand. Oh, God, more reinforcements. Well, I mean, I'm just dead, so might as well have fun with it. Come here, you jerk. So yeah, I mean, like I own railroads too, but why am I not getting money? I don't, I don't get that. 
All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm not a huge fan of the controls of this game. And you know what also kind of sucks? Is that the computer controls all three of its units types at once. I can barely control one at a time. Oh, my cannons just, just pieced out. They were like, you know what, this is a lost cause. Okay, so, I mean, like, how am I supposed to do this now? I mean, maybe if I make him waste all his ammo? So now, now I win? Ah, okay, that's easy. Why are more reinforcements coming to you? You don't need any more. I need to win. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. It's like my dude. It's like your dude. This is it. This is a showdown for the whole sack of potatoes. This is the Civil War right here, in a nutshell. This is the Battle of Sumter Hill, the most epic <laughs> battle ever. Ah! Oh, they got me. Ah, <sighs> traitor within the ranks. Yep, yep, yep. So, when I sat down to first play this game, I thought, I'm not going to bother reading instructions for this game. I'll just figure it out. Clearly, I could not figure out the NES game. Um, and usually when I do that, when I decide not to read the instructions, I gravitate, we're going to switch the years up here a bit as we go. I gravitate towards NES games or any console game. Um, hold on. The Battle of Bull Run does nothing to clarify the situation, but from this time forth, the Southern armies um, are led by the brilliant General Lee. Things are bound to change. Uh oh, maybe we should have played as the Southern States. Uh, anyway, when I don't read instructions, I tend to gravitate towards NES games because... Um, you know, the thing I've learned about DOS games is sometimes it's hard to just figure out what the hell the controls are. And so when I realized that I couldn't play the NES version of this when I tried and failed um, just in the first part of the video, I think I left that part in. Um, I, uh, I went and I got the DOS version, but then I had to try and look up instructions because I knew that I would like not know how to do certain things. And lo and behold, I had no idea. So the controls for this game, the default controls, are ridiculous. So right now, I'm just controlling the, the cannons. If I want to switch units, I actually have to press uh, Shift, which, you know, like, who would have ever expected Shift? <laughs> Those guys knew a lo losing battle when they saw one. They just full-on retreated. Um, so not only the Shift thing, but then the other thing is the buttons to make me control my, my soldiers and let them go up and down were something ridiculous, like... Z was up and W was down. Like, how the hell was I supposed to figure that out? And the battles aren't, you know, there's not a lot of time to figure this stuff out. The computer just starts sending guys at you right away. So, yeah. Um, oh, come on. I mean, all I got to do is kill his cannon. Oh, no. And I lost. Damn it. I think the cannons are way OP in this. Like, when a cannon can literally wipe out the whole other army. What the heck is the point? Oh, and he has two cannons. I mean, I'm just screwed here. Like, I can't even switch to control my my other guys. It's gonna freaking... Yeah, I mean... I gotta say... So this is like hour three of playing this game. Most games, I kind of hop right in and just try and figure them out as I go. This one, as I said, I played it for an hour just to learn the DOS controls because they're so non-intuitive. Then I played for an hour and lost all that footage, and now I'm playing again. So, um, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm kind of like losing patience with this game already. I don't know. It's, oh God, with the switching. Like, those soldiers just stood there and didn't defend themselves at all. And, like, this, those cavalry are just standing there. Like, I I want to be able to issue orders and have them do stuff. Like, this is ridiculous. I just lose. Just freaking lose. The first time I ever played this in the lost footage, I did actually beat the Confederates. And I never beat them again. So it kind of tells you. All right, let's, let's try it. Let's just keep going. Now we're in 1863. Somehow the war is still going. Uh, we're going to turn all this stuff on, though. Um, we got rain clouds, ships, and Native Americans. 
Anyway, yeah, so I was very hesitant to try playing this game in, in DOS, and with good reason. As you can see, it's a hard game. The controls are not very great. It was very hard to find instructions for this game. Um, but yeah. I think overall the game, it reminds me of like the ancient art of war, if anyone's familiar with that. Oh, jeez. Oh, one cannonball took out all their soldiers, and he's like gonna do the same to me now. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, that one soldier is kind of like stuck on the tree there. The so when you're in like this situation, like honestly, what are you supposed to do? Okay, so it's me versus one horse. <laughs> the horses are not allowed to run backwards, so he has to literally go and like run around the battlefield. He'll be back. You trust me. He's going to be coming right back. So this is a very memorable battle of uh, Pixel Hill, a very well-known battle in the Civil War. And I guess, I guess we won that one. So that's kind of cool. <sighs> the freaking messed up mouse again. All right. Uh, you can go here, you can go here. Wow, this might be the first time ever that I've gotten sort of money reinforcements. That's awesome. I will take it. All right, boys. So the Confederates descend on the Yankee army, but we are ready to defend this very strategic bridge. Oh, yeah, and okay, now that I've gotten their cannons... If I can, I was going to say, if I can just keep my cannons alive, I will win this. Look at this. He's got no hope. Yeah, run home to mama. Tell her what happened. You met my ace cannons. Now they're going to get reinforcements. So the more train stations you own, I guess is like the better. So with, I mean, like with that in mind. Let's just take another one. Let's let's see where this goes. I've never tried this sort of meta strategy before. Let's see how how uh, far it gets us. All right, what do we got? Oh, <laughs> this is the army that has two soldiers. Uh, retreat. Yeah. Well, we we saved the soldiers. I think that's the important thing. And let's see. We'll send these guys here. Eh, might as well attack with these guys then. Cannonball time. So have you guys ever played this game before? I kind of wondered who had played this, because I guess it's like a game that's known of, or known about, oops, in like NES circles, because it was on the Nintendo. Are you kidding me? Uh, just retreat. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, reinforcements. Sweet. All right. Wow. It's like the most meta strategy my, my army has ever had. All right. We'll fight you. Okay, we got to take their cannons out first. No. Ugh, god damn it. Like, okay, I do not think the battle is winnable at this point, especially since two of my horses drowned and one... The, two, of the, two of the cavalry guys were like, peace out, and just hopped off the bridge. All right, we gotta, we gotta stop this guy from getting to my train station. So let's do this. So when when I was playing this game before, I started to wonder, you know, the Civil War is like one of those, it, it's kind of weird in that like people reenact it. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't think of any other war that like people reenact. Ah, uh, that backfired heavily. Ah, crap. You know what would be... Oh, the, the cavalry did nothing. They literally died in two seconds. Watch, I'm just going to get cannonballed while well, he fell in the water. 
Like, this is ridiculous. Why would they make... Okay, I, I feel like I was probably far kinder to this game in the, in the last footage. Now that I'm playing it yet again, this game's bullshit, okay? The cannons are ridiculously overpowered. The computer is way too good with them. And the computer is really unfair in that it's using uh, multiple um, things at once. It can move all three of its units at once. I can, like, barely move one at a time. I just lost two armies because they happen to have cannons. That is unfair. Unfair. And look, literally I'm just fighting two cannons. There's a good chance I'm just going to lose my my whole army. Like, I lost all my, my cavalry. Okay, I won, but I don't know. That felt like a really cheap hollow victory. Well done, Captain. You put an end to this bloody war by defeating the South in three months. Time to return home to make America great. Or to, to make America again the land of freedom. Here's all my soldiers marching home. Looking totally awesome. So yeah, I don't know. That was We won the war. But did we really, really win, you know? Let's try 1864. We're going to mix it up. We're going to see what it's like, how the other half lives. See how the, the southern the confederates live. Anyway, going back to the whole uh, Civil War thing. Oh, hold on. The defeat at Gettysburg has seriously compromised Lee's chances of victory. The North has taken adva uh, advantage of Grant as Grant uh, advances into Mississippi, is a reversal of the situation still possible? I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh They're getting their little reinforcements here. So if you can hijack these trains, it, it puts you into a like side-scroller mission. And I've been avoiding that because... You know, on this old DOS thing here, it runs insanely fast. It'll be probably funny, you know, like I'll make sure it gets into the video at some point, but I'm not seeking it out. Anyway, yeah, the Civil War, like, okay, people reenact the Civil War, but why? Like, there's no reenactments of, like, World War, you know, one or World War Two. Go away. Um, people don't reenact those things, so why do, why do people reenact the war? Oh, God. Uh, go away, go away, go away, go away. Ah. Oh my god. I just need to get him to waste ammo. And now do I win by default? Wow. Okay. Do this. I'm just going for it, man. I'm going one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do this. Okay, what, what's our strategy here? We've met the Yanks in battle already, boys. Here it is. Hit the cavalry with your cannons. Hit their cavalry with your cannons. Then hit the little soldiers. Then go at the soldiers with the freaking knights. And then just hope they don't kill you with their cannons. Wow. These are like... The most decisive victory I've ever seen in this game. Like, for, for me. Alright, here we go. Getting some reinforcements. Like this Native American dude is just chilling over here. Apparently if you hang around here, he will attack you randomly. So we're just trying to get out of his hair. Just moving over a little bit. Trying to stay away. So now that I've broken the bridge, there's literally no way for them to get over here. Okay, we've killed those. Like, <laughs> I mean, cannons are the way to win. I don't know. I mean, he retreated, but he did not have a lot of soldiers. Oh, but he's getting reinforcements, isn't he, you jerk? So yeah, you know, reenacting reenacting the Civil War is kind of like the first LARPing, you know, like the real life RPGing. Again, I don't well, I don't really understand LARPing, but I guess I understand it a little more than Civil War reenactments. Like, what do people get out of the reenactments? I, I don't understand. Don't get it. Obviously, I'm not a person who does it. Oh, go away, oh you jerks. So see, I'm just gonna stand here. 
He ran over the bridge and just fell in. Yeah, I scared you away, punk. Um, I'm I'm seriously screwed here. But, you know. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I need money. Oh. Yes. I think a boat will come here eventually, and then I can do something. Get soldiers. Hmm. Oh, that was a good good move. The old wait for you to cross the bridge and then attack gives you flee. My god, am I actually winning? Ugh, he could easily get reinforcements though. Okay, we're gonna do this. And then I don't know what the heck to do. You go here. We're just advancing. Our, our strategy is just like advance, advance, advance. Had to consolidate those two armies though because they were small. So this kind of reminds me a lot of a board game. What's your guys' favorite strategic board game? Oh, damn it. Just when you think you haven't beat. They spawn more guys. Oh, but guess what, son? A boat came and just dropped off some random soldiers for me, which is trouble for you. Yeehaw! General Lee advances on the unsuspecting Yanks. Will this be the decisive battle? This and more tonight. Oh, damn it. See, now I basically lost. Morale is gone. Kill as many of them as you can, though. Oh, his cannon took out his own guy. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. Oh, man. <laughs> well, we got most of them. I would say if you kill most of the Yankees, it's a good, you know, good day. So when I started this game up, I had the choice of CGA, or no, EGA, Tandy, VGA... You know, if you know what those things are, I mean, those are like the old school graphics. Uh, no, go away. This horse is really chasing me down. Oh, God. Oh, cannon versus cannon. I got this. Um, but if, yeah, so back in the day... Graphics, like CGA was like four colors, EGA was 16. I remember when I got an EGA computer, I was like excited about it because it, it had so many more colors. VGA was the big one though. VGA is like, you could play Doom and, and stuff. Or no wait, VGA or SVGA? One of those. I remember it sort of like, graphics incremented in these GAs for so long. And so if you remember all this stuff, you were probably... <laughs> He just turned and ran. He was like, nope. Um, but yeah, these days... Ooh, somebody's hijacking a train. Is it me? I hope it's not me, because I cannot do this sequence. Yeah, okay, here here I am. Okay. Oh, no. Suckers. You're supposed to get to the front of this train and, like, take it. Like, hijack it. Oh god, but like look look at how fast this is going. This is insane. Oh, and my guy cried like a baby because he couldn't hack it. Well, I almost had a chance to hijack the train. Alright, let's Let's do this. Let's crush them. I mean, we have most of the U.S. by now. Like, uh, oh, I thought I had this. I got cocky. I had two cannons to his one. Oh, he blew up the tree. Oh, and <laughs> they just retreated. Okay, I was going to say, they better be destroyed. Can't believe he did that. Kudos to him. Okay, I think we got this pretty decisively at this point. 
Oh, yeah. It's gonna go right here. I mean, the North is in a, a heck of a lot of trouble. Oh, pff, this guy is done. He is done! So what's your guys' favorite, like, board game kind of strategy game? You know, like, not Command and Conquer or whatever, but... Oh, he just retreated? He can do that? Is he just going to prolong the battle forever? Because that's pretty ridiculous, if he can do that. We're going to, like, close in on this guy and, like, you can't just retreat in war forever. You don't get a free pass like that. Look at this. Even if he spawns more units, I have, like, decisively got this. He ain't going nowhere. We're just going to attack him with, like, uh, horses. Like, we can't even get over fast enough. You know, when you're engaging in hit-and-run tactics, you need the hit. You can't just be all run. It doesn't work that way. Okay, if I can beat this little train hijacky thing on this speed level... I'd be very impressed with myself. Ah! Ah! Damn it! Oh god. Like, seriously, are you guys seeing this? I mean, obviously if it was slowed down, maybe it'd be a little more controllable, but I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous at this speed. I mean, obviously they never expected a computer as good as mine to ever run this. All right, let's just let's just crush this fool. It seems kind of unfair that he could just retreat forever. I have three cannons now. How are we supposed to beat this army? Oh, now we have to fight the freaking fort. This is this is a problem because like I'm never gonna be able to conquer this fort. Oh god, punch you into the sky. It's kind of funny how when he punches them, the guys like fly off into infinity. And I lose. I don't know what I'm trying to do there. They send in like a one-man commando. They're like, Johnson's got this. He'll take the fort. He knows what he's doing. It's like, I, I could have used some backup. Why don't we just all attack the fort at once? I think that's the more apt plan, sir. Ugh. Being unable to conquer the forts is a big problem of this game. I mean, I have all the soldiers I need. Like, look at all this. It's literally impossible for him to win at this point, but I'll never take this fort. We'll try one more time. Like, a dog got me. This guy's attacking me. Dynamite got me. Like, I, it's happening so fast, I can barely tell what's going on. Go away, go away, go away. So, you fool. And also, I thought I only had one guy left. Where did all these guys come from? If I beat up the last guy, will I win? I I'm stuck on like a wagon? Walk around the goddamn wagon, you idiot. <laughs> okay, so here's another big fault of this game. If you can't pass that stupid side-scrolling part, how are you ever supposed to take a fort? It's impossible. Wow. I mean, look. The South is like rolling in soldiers. There's so much here. Can't do a, can't do a thing. He's just gonna retreat. If he retreats this battle, I'm just giving up because I mean, like, what's the point? What is the point here? We're fighting over this very strategic cabin. I can't even charge my cannons fast enough to get over there. I mean, now's the point where we give up, guys, because I mean, that's kind of bullshit. So we found a big flaw with the game. If you have one soldier left, you can just retreat forever. And if you're fighting an opponent who can't capture those forts, it's impossible. It's really impossible. Okay, I'm going to let the computer uh, give it a go here. You can actually set computer versus computer matches, which is kind of funny. We'll just give it a year, let it kind of round out this, this uh, let's play for us. And so I can talk a little. I don't have to, like, worry about how well I'm doing in the game. So what have we learned here today? Well, I think we've learned a couple of things. The first is that, for some reason, America is, like, fascinated with the Civil War. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, like, Civil War was very interesting in the politics and all that 
uh, were quite interesting. But why, why all the reenacting? I don't, I don't know. Second of all, why is there a Belgian comic about the Civil War? That was the basis for this video game. If anything, I would have predicted an American comic. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Third thing is that cannons are bullshit. They are overpowered and unfair. And I mean, they just shouldn't be in this game. I'm going to go out and say it. The computer is also very unfair how it controls multiple units at once. Like that was probably the most dynamic battle we've seen because both sides were using all their units. When it's me, I just rely on the cannons. Um, and I barely move the other units because it's awkward to switch the other units and you can't multitask like that. Like imagine in StarCraft, if you clicked a unit, you had to manually make him walk across the map and press the attack button to make him shoot or he wouldn't do it. You would not have these pros multitasking the way they do with multi-armies. It just wouldn't work. Um, yeah. So this was a classic. I'm glad I played it. I understand kind of where it fits in in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> like, look how fast he took that fort. My god, I wish that guy had been on my team. Um, I, I'm sure these side-scrolling parts are harder because, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the computer's running it so fast. Um, I don't know why the timing seems okay here, but then it's super fast on the, the side-scrolling. I mean, again, this type of game just wasn't designed for computers of this era. And you could say, oh, you know, you should play it on an older computer or fix it. But again, the, the whole premise of my series here is I've got a book that's recommending a thousand one games for me to play and most people who are going to try games they're not going to go find a random old computer they're going to use whatever computer they have so if you a consumer out there had this book and decided to try some of the games that were in that book this is how you would experience them and so these are the opinions you might form uh, my opinion of north versus south um <sighs> You know, again, I, I respect where it lands historically and stuff, and probably for the time the gameplay was cool, but these days, you know, this sucks. Honestly, I'm just going to go out and say it. I don't like the cannons. I don't like these side-scrolling things. Um, I don't think there's tons of strategy to this overhead map. The train thing is kind of annoying, how you see the animation every time. I don't know. I just This is not a great game, in my opinion. There are way better strategy games out there. Way better strategy games that came out around the same time that you could get. I'm not talking about modern strategy. But even back in the day, you could get things like Civilization, which is way more strategic and better than this. Anyway, that's just my two cents. You can disagree. And in fact, if you really like the Civil War, chances are you may really like this game. So you might want to check it out. Um, anyway, we're... We're not going to let the computer finish it off because trust me, I, I've watched one of these computer versus computer matches and it really lasts forever. Although maybe not. I mean, they only have one army left. We'll give it a few more seconds, see where it goes, dynamiting. Funny how it gets all cartoony here. It's like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. One thing I will say is it is kind of fun to like have games where you can make the computer fight another computer. It's kind of interesting, like... You know, oh, I, I feel like playing this game, but I don't really want to actually play it. It's almost like the original Let's Play, which is kind of cool. Just let two computers duke it out and just watch and see what happens. So, you know, I, I, I don't begrudge the game for that. It's actually kind of cool. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the decisive battle. If the Yankees take this, the South has fallen. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Um, as far as my recommendation, you know, I've talked about pros and cons already of what I've enjoyed about this game and what I haven't. Um, as far as my recommendation, I do not think you have to play this game before you die. Um, like many of these classic games, knowing about it is great, but you know, actually playing it, I don't know, it's, it didn't really, it wasn't really that fun for me in, in complete honesty. Um, and although it is fun watching these guys duke it out. Oh, let's see, can the North bring it back? Okay, we got one Rambo soldier here trying to make a point, and he's dead. And now it's this is this is it, an even match. Oh, <laughs> they didn't do a thing. Okay, this is it, they're coming back. Guys, if you've liked this video, uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and as always, I'll be back in a couple days with a new game. The, the South is not doing anything. What the hell? What the hell? They're just standing there. Okay, here comes the North one more time. If you've enjoyed this game, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and as always, we'll be back in a couple days with a new game, but they're still not doing anything. Did we, did we just find a glitch in the game? Is this it? This, what an unceremonious ending. Literally, they can't be killed. Wow. Wow, this never happened to me before. Um, okay. 
Anyway, um, until next time, guys. Whoa, weird. Weird. All right, bravo, Corporal. You obviously didn't take a history lesson. You managed to defeat the North. The North lost? What the hell just happened? Wow, what a what a perplexing ending. I guess the the battle timed out, and for some reason the North lost, even though it was the South who wasn't doing anything. Crazy. <laughs> well, how about that for a twist ending? All right, guys, until I see you again next time, peace. <laughs>